Hi, I'm Katie McManus. I'm a graduate development surveyor at HBD. HBD is part of the Henry Root group of companies. Um, we are a developer and one of the development arms of the of Henry Boot Group. Um, how did I get into property? Um, so I've always been really interested in property from a young age. I used to watch programmes like Homes Under the Hammer, things like that on TV, just always been interested. So I thought I wanted to be an estate agent. So for my year 10 work experience, I went to my local estate agents, did a week there, loved it, that's what I wanted to what, what I wanted to be and then I got speaking to a few people and actually found out about surveying and commercial property so actually state agency although it does have similarities the wider world of surveying holds so many more opportunities um, for instance you get more involved rather than just selling and letting residential properties commercial properties include retail leisure units your restaurants um, employment, um, employment uses and units, that's your business parks, office buildings in the city centre, office buildings out of the side, industrial units, distribution units, the way rammers and parcels come from, all of them buildings, someone has to, someone has to come up with the idea to build them, someone has to manage them, someone has to find Amazon to go into that and then decide how long they're going to be in there and what rent they're going to pay and if they're going to have any room free etc. So it just really opened my eyes, to be honest. So then I went on to do some work experience um, in Leeds, actually. And then um, I decided I really like this. So then I went to pursue um, the real estate at Sheffield Hallam University. I didn't really want to go to university at first. I wanted to do an apprenticeship. However, back in 2016, there was only very limited apprenticeships. Um, I'd say they were in London mainly, which is not where I wanted to be and also I couldn't live there on an apprenticeship salary. So I decided to go to university and I really loved it so I'm glad I did. Um, and then with property one of the things I would say is um, try get work experience, not even just in the industry necessarily, just any work experience is good work, is good experience um, and try and meet new people. So the, how I came to HBD was I was at a networking event um, through the Association of Women in Property and I was just talking to a lady there who's one of the executive directors at HBD, told her I'm really interested in development. I like, I could see my, my career going there in the future. And um, so she offered me some work experience and then off the back of that, I got this job. So I'm really lucky in that sense, particularly um, in the market at the minute, as um, I know a lot of my peers have struggled to get work due to COVID-19. A lot of the start dates have been pushed back. Um, I anticipate within the next two years that will recover and because there is a job uh, skills gap at the minute where through the last recession so I think a lot of people have learned that and it's just new innovative ways of thinking people are looking for so if you've got a passion and you want to do something if you go do some work experience do other things just something um, that you can talk about in an interview etc I recommend that And so I was trying to think of how to sum up a development surveyor and what a development surveyor does. I think at HBD, our main tagline is we create places with purpose. Um, so next time you go um, drive down the motorway or go into Sheffield City Centre and you look at, in Sheffield City Centre, for example, the Moree development, that kind of idea of how you're creating a new environment for people to actually come out and do shopping because a lot of online sales now have gone online um, and sorry it's retail sales have now gone online and actually you need to create an environment um, and new buildings and new ways of working and thinking and shopping etc and we are a part of that so everything from for example off the motorway finding a, a piece of land that's um, not got anything on maybe or might have something on think of a new idea so how can we redevelop or, or develop and just build on that land to create jobs to create communities to create houses so it's, it's really rewarding as well um, so in terms of what I do on a day-to-day -day basis um, I'm in the office today and um, I took some video footage yesterday of when, out, when I went out on site um, so, and to one of our developments, um, chocolate work at York, uh, chocolate works at York, 
which was the former Terry's Chocolate Orange factory. Um, so we went there just to have a meeting about converting one of our one of the remaining plots into 23 residential units um, with our joint venture partner. And then in the office today, I'm doing some development appraisals on a different project. So working out if it's viable, what the profit is, if we can do it, and also doing some research about the market. So it is really varied. There's lots more that I won't be able to fit it into um, just talking for a couple of minutes. Um, so if you're still unsure about what a development sphere is um, and what do we do, or what development even is, or regeneration, or any of these words that you might come across if you look at Google development. If you just think about if you if, where your next walk on, where your next go into town or go to school, just see if you can see any new buildings, not necessarily how not houses, but a new office building going up, or like I said on the mall, um, the light cinema that's not recent really, but something like that and just think how's that got here and how's that building going to impact the community and what would have, as who's developed this and who's been the one that's funded this. Um, so yeah, I'm sure the, uh, there'll be lots more questions if you are interested in this career. So if you want to get in touch and um, you'll be able to find me on the HBD website, I'm happy to chat through any questions you may have and um, help you try find work experience if possible. And the Sheffield Property Association as well also have a website with a list of employers um, who are part of that, who, who will be open to help with work experiences opportunities.